With the recent advent of YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels to combat TikTok, a platform that came from out of nowhere and has since absolutely dominated people's attention, I thought it'd be worth going into how much these platforms are paying their creators while referencing two of my friends' analytics as well as my analytics on YouTube. So let's get into it. I'm not gonna lie, being a smaller creator or just starting out on platforms like TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, kind of feels like you're a stripper getting pelted with change rather than bills. Now put your hands together for big media. Anyways, back to the video. So friend one, let's just call him Twimothy, he has over 100,000 followers on TikTok and he's been growing that over the last three years. He's been garnering millions and millions of views and in those three years, he's only made 1,300, $32, which depending on your situation might sound like a lot of money, but I assure you for all the work that he's put into basically double posting every day, it's not a lot of money. So now let's specifically break down how much he made in August for how many views he got. So in August, Twimothy made a little over $38 with a total of 2.1 million views. And when you do the math on that, for every 1,000 views, that is just under two cents. Now I'd be willing to bet that being TikTok famous probably sounds a lot less cool to you now. But don't worry because there's still hope he could get brand deals, but then also Facebook and Instagram reached out to him to be a part of their Reels Play bonus this program. But unfortunately for a lot of us, Facebook and Instagram are the gatekeepers to this program. Even if you qualify for monetization because you have a creator or business page, they still have to contact you for it. So Twimothy started repurposing his TikToks for Facebook and Instagram, their main rule being that you can't have the TikTok watermark on there, and the difference in pay is staggering. Twimothy earned just under $8,000 in August alone with 13.6 million views between Facebook and Instagram. And when you do the math on that, for every 1,000 views, he's earning about 58 cents, which is 32 and a half times more than TikTok is paying him. My guess is that Facebook and Instagram recognize that TikTok is a threat to the longevity of their platforms. Therefore, they realize they need to do something about it. I also think there is something to be said about how easy it is to get views on Instagram and Facebook as opposed to TikTok or especially YouTube. They're not messing around. Now, while we're on the subject of Facebook and Instagram, let's get into Friend 2's analytics. Let's just call him Cranjus McBasketball. Cranjus just joined Instagram's Reels Play bonus program and with only four Reels out right now with about 150,000 views, he has earned $119.50. And when you do the math on that, for every 1,000 views, he's getting about 80 cents, which is higher than Twimothy's RPM or revenue per milli. That's just revenue per 1,000 views, and they're on the same platform. And you might be thinking, well, maybe that has something to do with the amount of time that people watch the video. But unfortunately, Instagram won't disclose that information, though TikTok and YouTube do. So lucky for us, Cranjus also has a monetized YouTube channel, and here are the analytics for one of his regular YouTube videos, not a YouTube short. Cranjus has earned $69.84 on this video that has 24.5 thousand views and the amount of time that video has been watched is 1.2 thousand hours. That's equivalent to watching Lord of the Rings of Return of the King 358 times, and that movie is almost three and a half hours long. When you do the math on that, Cranjus is earning $2.85 per 1,000 views, which is 158 times more than Twimothy is earning per 1,000 views on TikTok, and three and a half times more than Cranjus is earning per 1,000 views on his own Instagram Reels. And since YouTube gives us those analytics on the watch time, that breaks down to almost six cents for every one hour viewed. Now there definitely is something to be said about how a video on YouTube can live way longer than an Instagram reel or a TikTok that seems to just live in the moment of being posted. Now let's get into where I stand in all this. I originally want to look into this topic because I have a YouTube short that's doing well in relevance to my channel, but when I look in the analytics of it, I barely made any money. And so I wanted to start digging to see if I'm really getting paid an unfair amount or if it's that I'm just not reaching millions of views like Twimothy. So on this YouTube short with 9.8 thousand views and 99 hours watched, I've only earned 49 cents, which comes out to about five cents for every 1,000 views. So for every one hour that YouTube short is being viewed, I'm only earning half of a cent. 
but honestly, it's not as bad as Twimothy's TikTok. So I referenced one of Twimothy's TikToks that did particularly well, and it got 4,277 hours viewed, which, first of all, is just insane when you think it's a, a couple second long video. But he only made $5.81 total from that. And that means that he is getting about a tenth of a cent for every one hour viewed, which is five times worse than what I'm getting. So what I'm deducing is that TikTok probably doesn't feel like they need to pay their creators more because they've already got so much attention on the platform. And then you've got Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube who are paying their creators more at the moment. But to quote the director, Mike Diva, YouTube has a violently unforgiving algorithm. So therefore there seems to be a balance between pay and attention. But then you've got Instagram who's shown your video to tons of people that you don't know and they're paying you well for it. But that's only if they contact you for the program. Now finally, I'm going to compare that YouTube short with one of my regular YouTube videos. Now this video with 5.1 thousand views, I made $16.19. And when you do the math on that, that breaks down to $3.31 per 1,000 views. And that means I'm getting 15 cents per one hour watched. And funny enough, even though I have the smallest platform out of my two friends, that's the highest amount of revenue per one hour watched as well as per 1,000 views. Now after looking into this topic, I'm walking away with three main takeaways. One, I wouldn't earn any money if it wasn't for you, the people who watch this video and support my channel, so thank you. Two, these platforms honestly don't need to share any of the ad money with us, and the fact that they do, I'm very grateful for that. And back in the day, you would have to pay money to host your video on your website or what have you. And third, there's more value to a video than just revenue and views. For example, the impact you might have on the viewer. And also, the YouTube short that I referenced, it says in the analytics that 168 people chose to subscribe after watching that video. To me, that's wild, imagining 168 people who watch one of your videos and then now just want to follow along with what you're posting because they enjoy the content. And now based on the analytics I've shared with you in this video, I'm sure you can see why your favorite creators constantly push things like Patreon, or maybe a subscription to their own website, because that's probably how they're gonna earn most of their money. So if you can afford it and you want to support a creative more than just watching their videos, I would look into that. And before I leave you, I just wanna say, I don't wanna discourage anyone who is a newer creator or thinking about getting into YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. I'm just fascinated by the numbers and by no means does it mean that you can't make a living off of one of these platforms if you put in the hard work. You might even get lucky and pop off earlier, who knows, but you don't know unless you try. And that's all I've got for you guys today. If you really enjoyed this type of video, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.